Hi guys, it is Mother's Day 2020, another holiday in quarantine. We're currently at our lake house, but we're actually packing up to head home now because I wanna go see my mom and my mother-in-law from a distance, just like we did on Easter. If you guys watched my Easter vlog, we just kind of stood on the front lawn and talked to them from a distance, but at least I'll be able to drop off a gift and stuff. So that is the plan. It was snowing yesterday and last night here at the lake, which is insane for being practically into the middle of May. I just, I can't get over this horrible weather through such a bad time. I wish that we just had some nice weather. And I know some of my friends um, in Florida and in other places are having some really warm weather and probably would appreciate a cool day, but I just miss the sun so much. So today is supposed to be in the high 50s, which isn't too bad compared to our previous snow days here. So we're going to be driving around and just visiting people. We just had breakfast. We had Taylor ham and cheese sandwiches. The um, kids helped my husband make breakfast, so that was nice. We're off to a pretty late start. It was kind of a lazy morning, and we are packing up and getting ready to go, and I just thought it would be a fun day to share with you guys because it's going to be another very unusual holiday, but we're gonna make the, the best of it, obviously, and I'll bring you guys along with us as we celebrate Mother's Day in quarantine. The dogs are clearly in no rush to go. <laughs> They're just hanging out in here all cozy. They've just been like laying around. They've been so lazy lately. Here's my stack of books that I brought. Me and Madison are reading Matilda together, but this is the book that we chose for my Patreon book club, and it has been so amazing. I highly recommend it. Um, it's written in letters, and it's just such a great story. And I thought it would be really depressing because it takes place in World War II. Well, right after World War II, I should say. But even though it talks about some of the things that happen, um, it's still very lighthearted and beautifully written. And like, I've been reading it all weekend and I just love, love it. Highly, highly recommend this book. Matilda, of course, is just adorable and funny. And I'm still reading my Harry Potter book. And this is my first first book of the month club book. I just got it in the mail before we left. It's the guest list and this is the book I'm doing for my um, town book club that we do together. So I was excited to get my first book of the month book and I have actually am already starting to place my June order and I always leave a link, a coupon link in the description below. But this has been fun because the books are $14.99 a month for the first one and then any other book is only $9.99 and it's a nice hardcover book. So really enjoying that too. You hear that noise? The kids are vacuuming and cleaning the house for me before we go. <laughs> I love Mother's Day. It's like my favorite day of the year. Good morning, Madison. Good morning. Let's look at Madison's hair. So I braided it last night and I put this, um, it was like a leave-in conditioner and look at how pretty and curly it is. I love it. Very nice. So thank you, Madison, for, <laughs> let me tell you what Madison did last night. It was, what time did you pounce on me in the middle of the night to wish me a happy Mother's Day? 12.30. So, well, I'm fast asleep, and all of a sudden, somebody pounces on me like a lion. <laughs> and there was Madison's little face, and she's like, happy Mother's Day. I was the first one to wish you a happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Very nice. Madison had something she wanted to say to you guys. Happy Mother's Day to all those moms. I bet you guys are working really hard and you really deserve a happy Mother's Day. They do. Moms do work hard. So happy Mother's Day to all of you hardworking moms just making it happen every day. <laughs> We just got back from our walk. We took the dogs for a walk. It's still chilly out. You can see I still have my North Face on. <laughs> Hopefully by mid-May I'll be able to leave the house without wearing a winter coat. We'll see. But um, I wanted to share with you guys, yesterday we found out that our school is doing a virtual high school graduation, which obviously was incredibly disappointing. And the kids are trying to boycott it. They'd like to do something, even if it's like just a drive-by type of a ceremony where they drive by the school and get their diploma. I don't know, but the students are very upset about it, as are the parents. <laughs> just one more of the... Uh, battles that we're dealing with. But I know a lot of you guys have seniors and I wanted to do something nice 
for seniors because they are having a really sad year. Obviously things aren't going the way they had planned. So I wanted to do a giveaway for the seniors. I'm going to be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. So if any of you guys have seniors, just make sure that you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments where they are headed. I know everyone has something different going on and you don't have to tell me specifically what school if you don't want to, but just let me know um, if they're going to a, a trade school, if they're headed off to college, if they're doing a gap year, just whatever it is that they're doing, let me know in the comments so I know that you have a senior and I will be pulling a winner, let's say by May 23rd. That should give a couple of weeks anyway so that you guys can have an opportunity to um, have a chance to win. So I figured a $50 Amazon gift card is something good for a teenager. I talked to Emily about it and I was thinking of different gift ideas, but she was like, you know what? A gift card would be so much fun right now. <laughs> so I thought that was a nice idea. And also I did notice a lot of the high schools are doing this like adopt a senior thing where you can pick a senior and you could just send them anything like a card or just something nice um, just to congratulate them for <laughs> you know, graduating high school and all the things and just because they're not able to celebrate the way that they had planned. So I thought that was a really nice thing that a lot of people are doing. And yeah, so I'm going to finish packing up so that we could head home. So we are home. It's actually 50 degrees in our house, which is why I put this big <laughs> sweatshirt on over my sweater because we turned the heat off but while we were away our house was professionally cleaned so I am like over the moon excited about that that is my favorite thing in the whole world so best Mother's Day gift ever and apparently it was done a few days ago so I don't have to worry about um just like any lingering germs or anything. And plus I know this company is really good about masks and gloves and changing between cleanings and things like that. So that was really exciting. So my house is clean and the kids and my husband just gave me some Mother's Day gifts and I thought I'd share that with you because I'm really excited about that. And then I think we're going to head over to my mom's to also wish her a happy Mother's Day. Okay, so here are all of my Mother's Day gifts this really cute card and lots of chocolate which is great I'm gonna like dive right into that in a minute I have Lulu lemon leggings which I have wanted for the longest time and these are really nice they're so so soft I'm sure they're gonna be really comfortable and then I also got a pair of running sneakers that I really wanted because if you guys watched my things to do over the summer of 2020 one of the things I want to start doing is trying to do some like virtual runs and I really needed running sneakers so that's exciting and <laughs> Emily put this together for me they recreated this picture from when Madison was born <laughs> I just thought that was really really cute so that was a lot of fun and then also this um, chase lounge to float around in the lake so I'm excited for that so that is everything that I got for Mother's Day this year I'll show you guys quickly what I got for my mom. This is so funny. Um, Emily switched this bag. So it was a birthday bag and it said, hip, hip, hooray, it's your birthday. It's your mother's day. <laughs> I just put like duct tape over. I just thought that was funny. But anyway, I'll show you the stuff that I put together for my mom this year. This book, Miranda Mills talked about it on her channel when she was doing some book reviews and she said this was a really nice story. So I think that she'll really enjoy this and it's just a really pretty hard covered book. And then I also got my mom some chocolates cause she's like me and likes that stuff <laughs> as well as some of these Walker's shortbread cookies. It's like one of my favorite things when I go to Disney, the Walker shortbread Disney cookies. So I know she likes these too. Some Dr. Teal's Epsom salt in lavender fragrance. And then this was a book that I read last month that I really, really enjoyed. So I bought her a copy as well. I think she'll like it too. It's Thorny Hold by Mary Stewart. One of my favorite face washes. It's the Coconut Milk Pacifica. So I thought that would be something nice for her to try if she's never tried it before. And then some English breakfast tea to go with the cookies and the chocolate. And then I also got her this Mother's Day. Let me turn it around so you can see. 
It's a candle that says love you mom and it has a floral fragrance to it. It's really nice. Nice size candle too. And then this, okay. So when I ordered this online, I thought it was a regular coffee mug and I thought it would be funny to get for her. <laughs> Look how big it is. It says I got this from my favorite kid, but it is the size of like a big flower pot. <laughs> Maybe she could put a flower in it. It's so big. I thought it was a regular size coffee mug, but no, this is humongous. And I ordered most of this from Target on one of my Target orders, except for the books. So that's everything that I'm going to be bringing over to my mom's house. Last week, Leo went to the groomers <laughs> and they had to shave him. Look at how skinny he is now. He lost all of his fluff. Leo set it good boy I mean he's still really cute but his shag is all gone even though his coat is still really nice and really soft all of the shagginess is gone it'll grow back I like Leo when he's big and fluffy like a bear but it probably feels better when the weather eventually gets warmer he'll probably appreciate it I'm eating my Snickers bar right now <laughs> but I thought I'd show you what my husband got for his mom she loves Danielle Steele, so he got her this book, The Wedding Dress. I don't know if she's ever read it before. I do love the cover, though. And he picked up more Mother's Day cards. I don't think he realized that I had already picked them up. And he's at the liquor store right now. He's getting her some kind of Bailey's Irish Cream gift set that he knows she would really like. So we're going to be bringing that to their house a little bit later on as well. We got our beach chairs, and we're headed to my mom's. <laughs> Yeah, let's see her tricks. Does she do tricks? Come on. Ready? Ready? Go get it. Whoa. Oh, oh, wait. Hi, Darby. Hi. Darby, down. Darby, come here. Come here, look. Don't hit me. She doesn't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you loving Darby? <laughs> yeah, He's cute. Aww. Yeah. So cute. We just got back from my mother's. It was nice just hanging out in the backyard. We were probably like 15 feet apart, so we were able to just sit around in a circle and talk, and we got to play with their new dog, which was a lot of fun, especially for the kids. And now we're headed over to my in-law's house. It's getting pretty late and we didn't have lunch, so everybody's really hungry. I'm actually getting a headache from not eating for so long. So I think we're gonna do a drive-through, which is something I have not done in a really long time. But we're kind of desperate. We need to go and everyone just needs to eat something. Later on tonight, like a very late dinner, we might get takeout from uh, one of my favorite restaurants in town. That, that was the original plan. Um, so we'll probably do that much later. But I'm going to say goodbye now because I know we're gonna probably be home like eight o'clock at night and still need to eat and all that stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along today. I'm sorry it was kind of a quick and short vlog. They're usually not like that. Um, but I just wanted to share some of my Mother's Day with you and I wanted to make sure that I announced my giveaway for those seniors out there. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below to be entered in the contest. I'm really excited for that. And I hope that you guys all had a beautiful Mother's Day. I'll see you next time. Bye.